What's up Guardians, Profane here bringing you another Destiny 2 video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Recluse. Now I have talked about the Recluse in previous videos but in today's video I'm going to be going over just a recap for all of you Guardians that are having some struggles or maybe new Guardians coming into Destiny trying to get the Recluse. We're going to go over the exact process that you need to do to get the Recluse and what the benefits of the Recluse are. Now the Recluse is a pinnacle weapon and the quest for it can be started by visiting Lord Shaxx in the tower. He's going to give you a bounty called the Mouth of Babes and this is going to have you complete a specific Crucible Triumph called the Stuff of Myth. And the Stuff of Myth requires you to get wins in Crucible and to reach Fabled rank in competitive mode. So let's go ahead and dive into these specific details. So first off, winning matches in Crucible, you get 1% completion for one matches while doing quick play. So not a whole lot of progress there. You get more progress when completing a competitive or an Iron Banner match. Now that is just for the first part of the quest. So that's getting the wins. But you also have to reach Fabled in competitive rank. So this is only for competitive. Getting Fabled in quick play or in uh, while doing Iron Banner is not going to contribute towards getting this one complete. You have to solely do it in competitive. Reach Fabled, which is 2100 points. So overall, you're going to have to spend a lot of time in Crucible. I would definitely suggest to fixate towards competitive. If you're doing this while Iron Banner is up, by all means, jump into Iron banner to get that overall win completion done but predominantly you're going to want to focus on competitive and with some things that I suggest to people usually when I am presented with the question of how do I get the recluse quickly or you know what are some tips well I would suggest for at least everybody that's going through a solo means to pick what time of day you're actually going into competitive because depending on it the server load and what servers you're going to be matched into you may or may not want to play competitive because you might be queued up with people in you you know overseas or you might get stacked up against some really tough com opponents that are lagging out and you definitely don't want that to impact your game a couple of other things that I definitely suggest for the solo player is to keep an eye on the matchmaking bar where it shows how many opponents it's already found if this jumps up by three or by four all of a sudden that most likely means that you've been queued up against a full squad so you're going to have much less success at getting these wins if you're going up against the full squad that can communicate with each other. So by all means, back out immediately. Opening up the channel of communication is another key thing to win. Even if you're going in solo, open up that fire team chat to be able to speak to your teammates. Even if they can't hear you or even if they can't speak back, there might be a chance that someone does hear you and can respond accordingly in game to a prompt or to an alert that you get. Last tip is just pick your loadouts wisely. Not every loadout is going to work for every map. You might need to change your loadout here or there, but don't find yourself changing your loadout often while in a match. For one, this leaves you vulnerable to whatever could happen when you're not looking on the screen to just being delayed and losing ammo. You never want to have that impact your gameplay when you're in a competitive match. So try to have your loadout set before the match actually starts and make sure you pick a loadout that matches to the map that you're going to be playing on. To anyone struggling to get the recluse, maybe you're giving up hope that you're going to get it, or maybe you just feel like it's too daunting of a task. Believe me, the recluse is definitely worth grinding for. This gun is an absolute beast in PvE and PvP. The Master of Arms perk that comes with the recluse really is what defines this weapon and makes it so immensely popular to the community of Destiny. Master of Arms increases pretty much every stat that the recluse uses. It increases your handling, it increases your reload, it increases the damage. So this is a gun that you really do want to grind for, and why not grind for it? Just jump into a couple of competitive matches each week and slowly work towards it, or grind yourself away, but you definitely want to get a hold of the Recluse. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Recluse, if you've already gotten it, or if you got some tips to help everybody out on getting their own. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to hit that like button below. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button below because it would be greatly, greatly appreciated guys. Until next time though, this has been Profane and I wish you guys some happy hunting.